Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung will attend the final session of the Conversations on Singapore Women's Development next month. It has been going on since last September. And Minister of State for Education, uh, Sun Chui Ling, says the views raised by the WP in the motion will form part of that larger feedback exercise. It includes other women's groups and the public. And already 160 sessions and nearly uh, 6,000 6, have taken part. Ms Sun says the deadline for feedback is or is, has been extended until the end of August. These will be put into a white paper to be debated later in Parliament. Government had said at the onset of the conversations that it would consolidate views from the conversations and present action plans for the future in the form of a white paper. The white paper would form the basis of a full debate in Parliament as it would have taken the range of views expressed by all participants throughout the process into account. I thank the members for their views and inputs shared today and I would like to assure them that their views today will feed into this process. This prompted the PAP to amend the motion to include white paper into the debate which later had the support of the House. Deputy Speaker, I beg to move in line three after the word society to add the following words and looks forward to action plans in the upcoming government white paper arising out of the conversations on Singapore women's development. Now, the motion as proposed by the Workers' Party is one that I think everyone in this House agrees with. And as my colleague Ms. Sun Xieling has set out, has been in line with the government's uh, efforts since inception and over the last year. The additional words I'm proposing are to tie the spirit of the motion with concrete action, which I hope the government will put forward in its white paper. During the debate, PAP MPs also spoke about various issues that were part of the party's joint paper on women's development last week. It included egg freezing, anti-discrimination laws, changing mindsets and other ways to empower women in the workplace and at home. Many also said they were, or they have been, taking action on the ground to help women. We constantly review feedback, feedback from members of the members and the public to propose further action to support women. The issue that had initially sparked off the national discussion on women's development was the concern about violence against women. The PAP Women's Wing immediately came up with a statement strongly denouncing violence against women and shared concerns about sentencing in that case with the Minister for Home Affairs. Following that, the review of the sentencing framework for sexual and hurt offences was conducted and consequently there were inter alia increase in the penalties for specific sexual offences.